guys it is me girl shout out to the lab welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome to the channel if you are new scratch that welcome back period so if you see by the title you guys can see this was a very serious story time this is actually one of the two craziest things no 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 no. i done had a million things happen to me but these is like my top five crazy things that ever happened to me so by the title you guys can see i almost got shot yeah playing with a nigga you know what i'm saying boom everybody know who the nigga is demon so i was dealing with demon and we were staying out of town at this time or whatever and um he had two roommates or whatever where we were at he, he ended up having two roommates because he was in college so boom one day they ended up getting a whole new roommate or whatever and the new roommate he was kind of like a little nerd you know what i'm saying it's always them nerds that be trying to be hood that be killing me like stop that just be a nerd okay people like nerds i like nerds i think nerds are very cute and cool so we ended up getting him as a new roommate or whatever. They ended up, you know, kicking it with them, being cool, calm, collected, or whatever the case may be. So, unfortunately, he started falling victim to the stuff that Demon was doing. And y'all know what Demon was doing. If you know, you know. If you don't, go look at the story time and find out, period. Demon ended up introducing him to stuff. And he ended up learning all this other stuff and this, that, and the third. Which was the first wrong thing they should have did because it backfired on them. One day we was all just chilling in the house. You know, me and Demon doing a regular smegular arguing or whatever. So, we ended up actually laying up and being being like calm next thing you know we heard a boom in the house so i'm like we both jumped up like what the freak like what the freak so we run out the room y'all tell me why the freaking nerd roommate got the gun in his hand and he just shot through the floor and we was at the top floor so he shot the the gun through the floor so demon yelling at him like what the freak is wrong with you like you gonna make stuff hot like what is you doing like where did you even get that gun from so in my head i'm like i don't know why y'all over here playing slow like y'all ain't just taught a nerd how to be a hood nigga like you knew this was gonna backfire this is so stupid him and his other roommate i'm gonna call his roommate uh mj so mj ended up they all go off so they all doing the same thing like they all sell i'm not telling you what they sell but they sell period so they all sell so they all going crazy like what the freak go downstairs to make sure nobody called the police child by the time the boy got by the time i'm gonna call nerd nerd by the time nerd got downstairs the the people downstairs had already called the police because they thought of course somebody upstairs they got shot so i'm calling you know the police y'all so we in this job panicking because at this point now we have a bullet in the floor and stuff in the in the apartment that's not supposed to be in this apartment at this time so at this point everybody going to freaking jail so i'm like oh my freaking gosh so the only thing that came to the mind was basically a bandit ship like a bandit ship so demon like well i can't leave because shantae's here and i'm not finna leave her by herself in this house like no that's that's dead wrong so y'all boys just gonna have to go but demon was already on probation so he was already panicking in his head like bro i'm finna get locked up so i'm like no you're not no you're not no you're not let's just clean up the room really quick like let's just tidy up so if they do come and search anything they got gonna find nothing so boom we cleaning up his room as fast as we can or whatever y'all i'm telling y'all we probably ten, all, spent all the 15 seconds to clean up that room before it was the whole swat team coming up them stairs so as we clean it up all i hear is wee, 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 sirens and stuff so i look out the window i said demon it's SWAT teams out here, big niggas, and yeah, they coming up these stairs suited. So he like, oh my freaking gosh. So we just like, what we finna do? So we flushed some of the stuff or whatever, and we stuffed it. <laughs> we stuffed a joint. This is how I knew the officer was being a butthole. So we stuffed one joint that we were supposed to hit that night or whatever inside the glove, inside another glove. So I just put it inside a whole bunch of gloves so it just looked like a bunch of cleaning gloves or whatever piled together. So and then we put it on the cabinet. So... Demon, I was like, well, let's just lay down and turn the music up or whatever. So that way it make it seem as if we don't know what's going on or whatever. So boom, next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. Open up the door, open up the door, open up the door. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh my God, God, I don't want to die. I'm finna die, I'm finna die, I don't want to die. God, I don't want to die. So he like, shut up. So I'm like, okay, so he go, go. Oh, he was like, I'm finna go open the door. He was like, bro, he's scared too. We both scared because we know once we open that door, it's just guns pointed at us. Like, so boom. He go and he open the door. <clears throat> like, turn around, turn around. Hands on your hands on your head. Da -da -da -da, get on the floor. Walk back slowly. Da -da -da. So they going crazy. Like, Anybody else in the house? Anybody else? So he like, yeah, my girlfriend in the house. My girlfriend in the house. So they like, um, yell for her name. So he like, Shantae, Shantae. So I'm like, what? So they was like, um, the police at the door. Walk slowly. Show your hands and keep your hands on your head. Y'all, when I tell y'all, 
shitting bricks was what was going on like when i tell y'all i was so freaking scared i was terrified like i was terrified so they got my hands up like this so we walking backwards i'm walking backwards slowly i'm like y'all please and i'm literally saying that. i'm like please don't shoot me please don't shoot me like i'm saying this because i'm like i know when the officer get trigger happy baby they be ready to kill a nigga you know what i'm saying i'm a nigga they got a trigger they ready to go toe to toe you know what i'm saying so i'm like lord <laughs> Please don't let me die, don't let me die, don't let me die. So I'm walking backwards, walking backwards. So they had me. They wasn't rough or nothing because I am I literally had on a tank top and some boy shorts. So I had nothing on me. So they didn't have to be like rough or nothing. So they just, um, it was a lady officer. She put my hands in handcuffs or whatever. They set us on the floor. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's below zero outside. Because where we were standing at, it get cold. Where we was at, it was so freaking cold outside. And I don't got nothing on but skin at this point. Like I'm outside bare skin, you might as well say. I'm freezing, and y'all know me, I have bad anxiety, so when I get cold, my body starts shaking, my anxiety starts going crazy, and it's to the point where I'm just like, okay, I'm finna piggity pass out at this point, like, I'm about to pass out, so boom, demon like, yeah, she, she, uh, she anemic, y'all can't be going crazy like that with her, she anemic, she anemic, she anemic, can she just go back in the house, like, she's freezing cold, we do, whoop. so the lady like, okay, well, I see her shivering, so we just gonna wait till they get done searching everything, and then we gonna put her in the house, so he like, no, she really need to go in the house, so I'm like, I'm not lying, like, I'm really am shaking for real, like, shaking, I just being scared, and then shaking because it's cold, so both of those put together, plus my anxiety, y'all, it was gonna be chaotic, so boom, we end up going Going in the house so this overachieving officer they came and this matter of fact this overachieving officer of the law decided to come to their um thing and was like so what's going on da -da 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 -da. and everybody even his officers everybody looking at him like what you got going on like what, what, what's your problem like what, what's what's all this like what's the animosity what you got like who done pissed in your cereal this morning? So everybody kind of like, first of all, calm down. We already done did everything. We done read them they rights. We done did all of this. You tripping. Like, what, what's what's going on? So he was like, we about to get to the bottom of this. So what's going on? Who was shooting in here? So we like, ain't nobody got shot. Like, it's no blood on the floor. It's just a hole in the floor. The bullet, crazy thing, the bullet actually came through the person's, thank you, God. It came through the person's roof and landed on a coffee table. I'm just grateful that it didn't shoot nobody coming down because that would have been a whole different story you know what i'm saying so it landed on a coffee table or whatever so when they got the call so he was like so y'all just telling me a bullet just went off and ain't nobody got shot yes yes that's what we're telling you because that's exactly what happened so the the um officer the lady cop she just like please excuse him he's just an a-hole like nobody likes working with him at all but unfortunately this is you know protocol so we like okay whatever so the guy that was actually over the case, because I don't, I guess they do whoever gets to the call first is the person to make the call or whatever. I don't know. I'm not an officer. I don't want to be an officer. It's too stressful. So boom, comes in. They searching the house. They didn't find absolutely nothing or whatever. They, the crazy thing about it is they found shakes. Like they found particles of an illegal substance at the time in the house or whatever. And it was just sprinkled everywhere in his drawer. Like it wasn't nothing. It wasn't even big enough to make a joint for real. Like it wasn't big enough to do that. So he that's all they found, which was crazy because if y'all wanted to really pin something on us, y'all should have went up under the god dang old cabinet with a god dang old glove with a whole joint of weed could have been charged. You know what I'm saying? But I'm grateful that they didn't because I didn't have time. So they like, okay, well, whose room is this? So, you know, demon like, this is my room or whatever. This is my house. This is my girlfriend. She just, you know, she came over for the weekend. So, you know, they just asking us questions. Da -da 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 -da. So the overachieving officer, he just getting on everybody's nerves. He like, okay, so it's your call. He's talking, I'm going to call the other officer, short guy. So he like, um, short guy, it's your call. It's your call. If you want to arrest him, you can arrest him. If you don't, you don't. But just know. Now he pressure him. Just know if you don't make that call, it's going to backfire on you. Da -da -da -da. Just basically trying to get him to send this boy to jail. So he like, you know, da -da -da -da. so this short stubby fool then then fell victim to this man telling him to basically press charges. So he was like, well, we're going to go ahead and arrest you for the night. Demon. They couldn't arrest me because it wasn't my house. It was demon's house. We're going to go ahead and arrest you for the night for the weed shakes. He like, come on, bro. Like, this is weed shakes. Like, demon stressing because he like, bro, I cannot go back to jail, bro. I'm I'm on probation. Like, I'm on probation in my head. I'm like, well, that's what you get for teaching a nerd how to be a hood, nigga. Because you should have known this was going to go left. So, he ended up, you know, going to jail, whatever. You know how niggas do when they go and get arrested. Call my mama, call my auntie, call you. No, shut up. Call the Lord. That's who you need to call. Because this don't make no goddamn sense. You got a bullet to my back because you want to make stupid decisions. Like, this is so dumb. So, boom. He ended up getting arrested. I ended up calling his mom. <laughs> Y'all, I called.
saw his mama, his mama like, well, that's what he get. That's where he gonna stay. That's where he gonna sit down and be because I'm not coming to get that boy out of jail. She was so tired of bailing this man out. Like, she was so tired. This boy always was in jail, y'all. I don't know what was what was up with me in, the, in, in this jailbird boy, but... <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm so glad I'm over that season of my life. But he just kept going to jail. But anyway, so he ended up going to jail or whatever. And the roommate, what happened was the ro the two roommates, MJ and Nerd, they ended up leaving or whatever. So they didn't get charged. They really couldn't charge nobody in the house but who stayed in the who was in the house at the moment. So MJ didn't get charged and uh nerd ended up talk calling demon on the phone and was like i'm finna you know turn myself in with the gun or whatever because nerd really had got scared because he did as as you hear the title he's a nerd so that was the first time of him getting in something so he was just scared that he didn't want to get in trouble but he didn't want demon to be in jail neither but demon was gonna end up in jail either way it go if he took the thing or not because it was probation violation he had uh uh, uh violated his probation or whatever so but that's not the point. He still went and had to go get the charge so they wouldn't pin the whole gun situation on Demon. So he ended up going up there or whatever, telling the officers that um, it was his gun or whatever. So he didn't end up getting arrested. Demon ended up getting out of jail like 14 days later. And I just was like, yeah, at this point, I'm not sure if this is the relationship for me. Because having a gun pointed to my head... That's not the type of life I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was so stressed out. And I was just like, God, I don't know. I don't know. Like, if in, if what if I would have made the, the wrong move? You know what I'm saying? And they just let it rip. Like, and I'm just shot up all in my back, bleeding out. And, and, and I was just like... I, that's when I was starting to clock out the relationship. Because at this point, I was just like, yeah, this this ain't it. I, I, ain't, I ain't going for that. <laughs> not doing it. Uh -uh, ain't me. Don't want it. I'm out of here. Like, I didn't want it. It was just too stressful. Like, that relationship was stressful to me. And I was really upset to him. Like, I was really, really, really upset. I did tell him if he had went to jail again, and that was the end of the relationship. And after that, he had never went to jail again. Because that was the highest fine that he had to pay. That his mama actually, she ended up paying him, getting him out. But that was the highest bond that she had to get him out on. And she told him, you go back to jail, you was on your own. I'm not finna keep bailing you out. Because you want to keep doing stupid stuff. And I fell my dupes on that. Because it's just like, nigga, grow up. Like, Grow up. I'm not trying to be here all my life. You know what I'm saying? So, that was the end of that. But that was the time where, you know what I'm saying, I almost got shot, y'all. Like, I could have been dead. <laughs> dead. Because this could have went sour. Like, somebody literally could have been dead. Like, that bullet could have went through the through the roof and smacked somebody on the top of their head on some accident type situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, all because somebody's playing with a gun. So this is my lesson to anybody that is underage. Any, honestly, anybody, do not play with a gun. Like, safety first. If you are around a gun and you are underage, please notify somebody and let them know, like, hey, there's a gun in this room. I don't want to touch it because I do not want to get in trouble. So please notify them. But do not, I repeat, do not play with guns. It is not a toy. You cannot take something back. Once it's done, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Like, once something happens, something happens, and that's the end of that. So please do not play with guns, okay? But if this... I, I highly doubt this ever happened to anybody. I hope this didn't happen to everybody because, you know, that's how I end the story. So, hopefully this did not happen to you. I'm just glad that I was here to, you know, throw light on the situation. I'm just really happy that I could talk about it now, like, without, you know, the full emotions of that day. Because that was really scary for me. But... I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so you fucking beat buzz, vibrate, and do whatever it does when you're gonna post another video. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next story time.